This time, Phase Jeff came on and he has exposed Activision. No way! That's what we love to hear, right? That's what we love to see. And honestly, though, like, Phase Jeff is probably the only Phase member right now that that we all love Let, let's be real he's the the true one he's the only one left out there because seeing all the drama that's what? going around in phase it has surely helped me come out clean hey yo what the f chris from mr beast has paved the way it had made very easy for a lot of people to say stunning brave strong independent and my name is no longer skizzle x it's now skizzle axi <laughs> I'm very empowered after seeing Chris from Mr. Beast coming out. I'm very empowered after FaZe trying to push this agenda, hiring female players, not because they are good at the game, but simply because they are they're female, strong, independent. Mm -mm. I'm very empowered. And here we have Toxic, Toxic Gamer. <laughs> We're gonna check this out, hit that like button, and by the end, just change it to a dislike if you get to the end and you do not enjoy, okay? Hit that like button instead, Muffin. Diablo. Quickly. Yeah, so we've been getting more information about Season 4 of uh, Modern Warfare 2 now, obviously. Yeah. Game's pretty dead in the water at this point, but it's always interesting to see how Activision and the other people kind of react to people's overall public opinion yeah. of the game. And I noticed that this year, the, the sentiment with the game isn't so much that people hate it so much that they're going out of their way to hate it. People hate the game so much much now to the point to where they just no longer care about it Dog, this this is exactly what i was talking in my last video when i brought this man up oh shit oh, yeah shit. prestigious key says i literally finished recording a video and that video is probably gonna go up or probably would have went up before this video i'm not sure when i'm gonna upload that but prestigious key ended up saying can you mother efforts tweet about something other than bundles for one effing day Ow. Oh! my guy ended up roasting the entirety of multi billion dollar company and he didn't even try my man and right now people just don't even give a damn about this game which is just sad people just care for drama more than ever with this game even face jeff he's one of the most positive call of duty player but he would still keep a buck 50 here and there but now he's trying to keep a buck 50 way more than usual before it was like okay well at least they're passionate about the hate that they have about the game at least they're still discussing how shit it is but when it gets to this point when it gets to the point to where people are now finding alternatives to your game or deciding to just move their entire viewerships to different games that is a much bigger True. issue for Activision to deal with because then they would have to basically regain that trust and yeah. the only way really yeah. to regain that trust is to have another massive hit like with Warzone and to be honest they're never gonna have the stars aligned like that ever again like I know a lot of people don't like thinking this but it's just like even when you look at the stats even as a YouTuber TV shows everything every single game had exponentially more players during that period of time that Warzone came out every TV show was being binged more every movie basically my point is is that more was consumed at that time than there ever was before so on top of them making a good game to most people they also had it at a time where it was a very very memorable moment for better or for worse in a lot of yeah, people's lives Barone, so right? we'll just stick with them forever there's no way they're gonna have that shit line up for them again there's no way that they're gonna go and make another hit again let alone during a period it would only happen if they were to come on um even if they were to make black ops 2 remaster Bruh. it wouldn't happen or would it it would definitely spark, it would give it a spark, but they need something brand new. A remaster game can only carry them for so long, right? If they were to come out with a banging <laughs> Call of Duty game, I'm talking about a new Call of Duty game, not a remaster, and alongside that they have a Black Ops 2 remaster. Black Ops 2 remaster, everybody would play that, and if the new game is good, once people are bored of Black Ops 2 Remastered, they would go over on the new game, and if that game is good, people are actually gonna play, come back to Black Ops 2 Remastered, vice versa, and that's that's the only way they can revive their franchise, because right now, even Warzone, Warzone 2 dead in the water, they're gonna have a new map for Warzone, I'm hearing. Nobody gives a damn about this. Call of Duty 2023. Bruh. Like, nobody cares about it. People are, in fact, YouTubers and people are ready to just shit on the game. The second the game drops, you're gonna see the worst Call of Duty game ever. You know that's gonna happen. YouTubers are gonna make videos. And if, the, if that is really true, if the game really sucks, to that level then those videos are gonna be justified i mean in fact i'm gonna make Bruh. those videos the disrespect is getting hilarious they tweeted 22 hours ago not even a thousand yeah, likes and one. 400 replies get ready boys oh, shit. Oh, it's coming it's coming it's coming man it's coming
That's a, that's not a good ratio, man. I'm telling you right now. There's something so reassuring about having a giant rat and tactical gear on your team. The only Ow. way that this ratio is even kind of okay is like a giveaway or some stupid shit. <laughs> this otherwise is just a bad. Notice the only thing that they reply to are the people that are still dumping money into their pocket. Yeah. They're going to try to make them feel special for paying for yeah. their rat bundle. They said they're, they're giving them, you know, they're giving them participation ribbons. Like, hey, hey you go. Okay, you did absolutely nothing. But hey, you go. Let us give you. You just spent $20. Thank you. Something reassuring about having a giant rat and tactical gear on your team. There's something so reassuring about rat and RCE exploits ruining every Call of Duty game and seeing nothing being done about it. it made this Damn. tweet thinking I was going to be on their side after seeing it. <laughs> I just see Hunter Damn. constantly ratioing them. To be honest, Hunter, I'm telling you right now, they'll be even more hurt when you stop replying to them. And here's the thing. I know that the social media guy sees this and I feel bad for them. When I was tweeting at them during Vanguard and shit, it was, I had a direct line with people that were actually running the social media. Cool guy. Cool guy, cool people. I feel bad for that one individual because he probably agrees with the shit you're saying. And they have to go and make some garbage. <laughs> Bomba cut. Man, that is crazy. And honestly, bro, who is behind the social media? I don't know. I think Jeb knows, but I don't even care to know, right? That's basically where Bruh. we at with this goddamn game. What's happening with this game, man? Where's the content? Because every day there's tweeting about bundles and shit like that. And it's like, Dog, you see this Black Ops 3 gameplay? This is for for once. This is my gameplay. Like, bro, oh my god. I'm like, oh my god. Mind blowing, right? Mind blowing. The gameplay that you're watching, obviously it's years old gameplay at this point. I'm not sure when was the last time I recorded this gameplay, but I, this gameplay is still looking amazing to this day, dog. This gameplay is looking amazing. This was Black Ops 3, The Rise and the Wrath. This map came out, I remember, February of 2016. One of the best game on from call of duty zombies wise multiplayer wise it's kind of controversial but let's be let's be objective most people would agree that black ops 3 quality wise was b way better than what whatever the trash whatever garbage we are getting nowadays minus the microtransactions part for sure. like this Ooh. but even now it's not that better like 20 dollars skins were that's 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 what we're getting in this game gives the People are ratting in the people's systems who play your games and you've not addressed this issue at all after removing the only safe way to play your older games. It's literally unsafe to play Call of Duty True. right now. I'd feel more reassured if the IP grabbing issue on Cold War was resolved. Fix Cold War, it's the only game worth playing right now. At this point for his own mental health, he probably just tweets Honestly, though, Black Ops Cold War is the last good Call of Duty game, but it's not the best Call of Duty game, but it's the last good Call of Duty game when you look at Modern Warfare 19. Uh, people like Modern Warfare 19. I mean, yeah, but Cold War came out after 19. We had, what, Van Garbage, the Modern Warfare 2, and that's pretty much it, right? So, yeah, Bruh. like, Van Garbage. Modern Warfare 19, not a massive fan, but, like... It was better than Modern Warfare 2 and Van Garbage, that's for sure, like, that's for sure. Into the abyss, he just throws his phone into a locked box where he just doesn't touch it for another 48 hours to meet his contractual obligation as a social media guy. Like I was saying before, we were getting all this information about, like, all Yeah, I don't think he knows about Prestigious Key, though. Because Prestigious Key, those of you that do not know, like, this is what he said. Can you- Okay, let me do this. Can you mother -effers tweet about something other than bundles for one effing day? I don't know if he knows. Is this new map coming? He does. And all this other stuff and ultimately yeah it doesn't matter if you guys aren't going to change the feel of the game that's the main problem that a lot of people got with it you change the feel of the game you change the whole formula of warzone which people didn't want you to do you did the same thing yeah. to warzone that you do to multiplayer which i warned people about but i i can't believe that you guys were able to it up this good you guys are truly a master at your craft activision taking care of dmz also i don't want to be too disrespectful I, br like, hey, what? I don't even think they care about dmz but one thing that I've noticed is that there's this weird narrative going around. And I'd say before DMZ came out, I was definitely on this kind of like train of, I think extraction shooters could be the next big thing. And somehow yeah. Activision actually sees value in this whole extraction shooter layout. But I've been seeing a good amount of people tweet stuff like with the massive rise in popularity of extraction shooters in so and so amount of years, it'll be the top of this and all this other shit. Like at this point, it feels like some weird NFT type shit. Maybe it's just yeah, me, but are you guys seeing new growth in extraction shooters? Shooters? Wait, I now I'm not saying Nothing. that, like, no extraction shooters. Honestly, gaming is kind of dead. Like, like, bruh. Bruh. like <laughs> gaming is, like, tell me one game you are currently playing right now at this given moment. I'm barely playing any game. I want to play, but there's, like, nothing. Maybe my problem is this, right? Because I grew up playing, what, Call of Duty? Battlefield? GTA? Mm, I'm about to go down. <laughs> 
That's probably my problem. That's probably Bruh. my problem. I grew up playing these three games and there's there's nothing going on. Give me GTA 6, man. Give me GTA 6. And if GTA 6 is bad, then holy sh Then I do not know. I don't that game cannot be bad. But I also grew up playing story story games as well. I love story games. I feel like that the older that I get and the more trash games we get from these AAA publishers, the more I find story games to be. You guys feel the same way or what? Garner like a uh, viewership or something absolutely escape from Tarkov all those things I talked about how great those games were in their own right But to like claim that there's like some massive upswing and uptick in the amount of people that are choosing to play Extraction shooters over battle rate that, that, that literally does not exist. It doesn't exist It feels like it's people that are playing extraction shooters that are like pumping themselves up because they want it to be the next big thing It's truly not I would argue that the extraction shooter stuff still does we call them d Delusional! That's what we call them. Delusional. Doesn't garner more attention than regular 6v6. DMZ is still clearly the least popular out of multiplayer in Warzone. Yeah. And multiplayer has been left at the bottom of the fing pool Gone. for years. And it still has more players in DMZ. And that's not to like take shots at DMZ players. I'm just saying, stop trying to like do some weird brainwashing on your followers, man. Extraction shooters do not have this massive upswing at the moment. That's just not true. Maybe there's not some true. people that are growing off of it for the first time, but to sit here and compare it to the rise of Battle Royale is just, it's silly. I would be hard pressed, gun to the back of my head to find anyone posting and retweeting, having a viral clip go around of an extraction shooter clip that happened recently in DMZ. Let's just say that even in DMZ, which is one of if not the like newest extraction thing i don't see it anywhere i don't see talk of it anywhere other than the tweets of people saying that it's the next big thing i believed it last year and i thought maybe call of duty would be able to take this massive fan base and somehow like turn them into extraction shooter players and for sure it was successful for some of them but a massive instead they got all of these suckers and they got all of them hooked on buying those microtransactions, all of these, uh, Really, you be alive! They got all of them on that one, you know what I mean? Uptick, it's just, that's not real. Data miners talking about Vondel and how big the map is yeah. and what the shape of the map is and the names of the POIs. The disrespect is getting crazy to the point to where, like, Charlie Intel is even just, like, putting info out there. Yeah, as will he bring you? My mission would be complete if he brings up uh, the homie prestigious key, though, like... It comes out like, eh, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, who knows? Gonna tweet about something. I don't that's think Activision's those. problem. They can deal with it. I'll click on this video on the screen because the hackers might actually be doing it on purpose and your credit cards can actually get hacked, oh, shit. leaked, oh, shit. Oh, as well, through playing Call of Duty. This is an important video, click on this video on the screen. On the left though, we got some good news about GTA 6, we had 50 features leaking from the gameplay. Check these videos out guys, and I will see you right there.